we'll yes. to, I'll be able to sit out there and have a coffee and uh, right. have, have meetings out in the courtyard. Yeah, the sun has just started to come out here finally. So we're like, you know, excited. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> well, so hello everybody. And thank you for joining us today. I am Lauren Meng. I'm the digital editor at Gray Magazine. And welcome to our uh, Gray Expo featured speaker series. Today, we are chatting about how to live your best outdoor life with Ross Benetti, who's the founder of Vancouver-based modern European design showroom, Living Space. Um, so Ross is gonna share today some design tips and his thoughts on the best products for creating the perfect outdoor retreat. And hopefully wherever you are living, the sun is out and you're like ready and prepared to get your outdoor space going. Cause here it's, you know, touch and go. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and dive in. So Ross, um, tell us first of all, you know, why you decided to found Living Space. Um, I, I founded I founded Living Space. I grew up in a retail environment. My uh, father actually had an appliance store. Okay. Uh, you know, I was always, you know, grabbing, you know, to design. I, I'd find, traveled, I'd find myself in, you know, sort of modern European furniture, you know, looking at pieces and, Mm -hmm. sort of interested in design uh and uh was something was i'm just very interested in and uh you know my father was retiring and uh i needed a job <laughs> that i didn't really want to make an appliance business um at that time and uh, i was involved a little bit in the furniture end of it so uh, i decided to open uh living space in 1988 Wonderful. So can you give us a few examples of some of the brands that are offered in the Living Space showroom? Sure. You know, so our, our brand, I mean, you know, Living Space kind of grew organically. Um, you know, I started off with a 3,000 square showroom uh, in North, North Vancouver. And, uh, you know, it grew organically. Just me being, you know, entrepreneurial, I you know, grew the business. And, uh, you know, now we, we carry sort of the, you know, best and coveted brand nationally. So right. Minotti being one, um, Patrona Frau, um, you know, Baxter, Coral, Living Devaney, and Kitchen Side, you know, we're um, Arc Linea, uh, uh, and Data, and, uh, also Maltini, which is part of, part of Data. So, you know, we have a 30,000 square showroom now. Um, and what we do, you know, with in the showroom, we actually uh, feature the product in shopping. Mm -hmm. You go to the area and it's displayed, you know, the same way um, sort of internationally around the world or the way it would be shown in the Milan showroom. And the same as the Arc Lynch kitchen, our kitchen area. You know, you'll see exactly you know, the same kitchens and the same, the same pieces that you see flagship store mm -hmm. absolutely so let's go into some of our you know sprucing up your space for summer what design tips do you have for people to help uh, create their ideal outdoor retreat yeah I mean it's been a, uh, I just wanted to touch on it's been interesting this year because you know of course we missed the Milan Fair because of COVID so you know new collections everything now is sort of um, you know, sent to us digitally. So we're looking at all the new, you know, all these new collections, which part of it, the outdoor collections that are coming out, which we would already have for, for, for summer. But, um, you know, as far as sort of what's happening in outdoor, uh, the real blur um, between indoor and outdoor, like, uh, you know, having seamless, you know, a seamless space. Right. Where you're, you're walking, you know, to your, you know, your outdoor space and uh, it's, it, you know, feel you know very comfortable now. Um, mm -hmm. Like Rota, which I'm actually in the Rota area on the on this side. You know, when you look at their their upholstery, you know, it does you know look a lot like indoor furniture. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's different because it's made to be outdoor, so cushions drain. Um, you know, the quality. I mean, or just the way it's made is different from the indoor furniture. You know, and that's and it's expensive. You know, it's because because they have to make it. You know to last outside, you know, they have to, uh, you know, do a lot of different things from the way they make it on an indoor. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they also make beautiful covers for things. So you can have things covered, uh, 
um, sort of signature covers that can go on furniture pieces. And it still looks really presentable and and exactly. yeah. What I, what I find now, you know, I mean, especially in Vancouver and Seattle, you know, Seattle would be the same thing. In the north, the northwest, you know, we're not living in LA, so a lot of our spaces are going to be um, covered. You know, so there'll be a covered space that will extend off the living area. Um, you know, with a fireplace, with heaters, you know, just so we can extend our, you know, ex extend our for summer living. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when it gets chilly, the heaters come on, the fireplace is on, and you're very comfortable in your yeah. place. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. know we just purchased a, an outdoor heater for our deck, and it's made these nights a lot more enjoyable <laughs> to be out there. It really, <laughs> Even though it's it, July. it takes the chill off. And, you know, I'm, I'm building a house right now. And, uh, you know, we, you know, we've got a couple, you know, one deck is a covered deck. Um, and that's the deck that I, I know will be out, you know, out on in the evening, uh, you know, most of the time where you can have a dinner and, you know, the chill is off and you can be very comfortable on that, on that covered deck. Mm -hmm. I know that one of the things that you mentioned, you know, was accessories were a really great way to also personalize your space. So do right. you have any um, thoughts on like, you know, what types of accessories or, you know, how you would go about doing that? I mean, I think accessories, I mean, a lot of, you know, lighting, um, especially do oh. LED lighting that, uh, you know, taken outside and it's you know, operated, operated uh, by USB, so charge. Um, beautiful lighting that way and then you know, partitions uh that can be in spaces so you can sort of you know partition off area uh outdoor rugs or mm -hmm. something and i you know i've seen really uh color um to personalize your space you know outdoor you can take more risk and you know kind of have more fun so you know to personalize with cushions and have you know color outdoors right. uh, is, is a great way to make it your own space. Right, right. And then, um, you know, for those with small outdoor spaces, there's a lot of people who, you know, have little courtyards or balconies. What are some of the pieces that would really work best for that? Uh, you know, there is quite a few pieces. I mean, I think, you know, having lounge chairs, you know, having side tables, you know, things for, for smaller spaces. Um, you know, we have a company, a uh, Belgian company, called extremists and they make some beautiful things they make a, a piece called picnic um, that's a, a picnic table for two people mm -hmm. so ideal for a balcony um, you know of, of a condo and also you know Belgium the weather is very similar to the north the northwest mm -hmm. that you know it's made to be outside and made to you know to be in the rain but you don't have to worry about, you know, about that sort of thing that there's all sorts of little little pieces you know, little uh, round dining tables will give you more of an efficient space on a balcony mm -hmm. um, and again partitions so you can partition off from your neighbor your neighbor's balcony right right are there any other products in in y'all store that you know you want to mention that you think would be really ideal to kind of make your space your own i mean it depends like i said between um covered not covered right <laughs> You know, Richard Schultz, um, you'll, you'll see a lot, which is sort of, you know, the, you know, was signed in the 60s, um, mm -hmm. but still very popular. But it's that kind of Palm Springs feel of loungers. So that can be outside all, all year long. Mm -hmm. um, you can do it in lots of different colors, um, but very, very durable for outside. And then for inside, you know, we have a company, um, Paolo Lente, and I talk about color, like they're, you know, she, she's a master of color, um, you know, the, and the materials that she actually use are very, very durable. She actually uses a nylon, um, client, like a client rope, but she gets the, you know, the manufacturer to weave in her color and, uh, you know, very, very unique the way Paolo Lente does, does mm -hmm. that. Are there any specific colors or um, patterns that you like to use the most or stay away from when you're when you're working with you know outdoor areas i mean there, there's a lot of use of bold you know bold colors outside so you see the green the orange um you know ochre 
Like there, you know, lots of sort of bold, you know, bold colors. Um, and then there's a lot of, you know, um, like Richard Schultz does a classic, it's classic white. You know, you'll see a lot of the, you know, the Richard Schultz in classic white. But like I said, you can have a lot, more, a lot of fun. Um, and then, you know, even Richard Schultz, you can put on cushions that, uh, you know, that are on your lounger that, uh, you know, uh, on and off. Yeah, that's one of the things we like to do with ours is we have a white cushion and then layer in, you know, the colors with the pillows and all of that. So um, you just have to be careful when you're, you know, imbibing wine on the white cushions. But other than that, <laughs> yeah. it's good. No, for sure. <laughs> what would you say is, you know, the favorite, your favorite thing about your own personal outdoor space? I mean, again, I, you know, it's, it's that transition between indoor and outdoor. Um, you know, so I am building, a, I'm building a house right now with uh, architects, uh, David Battersby and Heather Howard. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is my second house I've done, I've done with them. Um, and both houses, you know, are one, one level living um, for that, for the space. So it's living room, dining room, kitchen, um, actually master bedroom. And then we're straight out onto uh, the pool deck. So I, I think for me, the really important thing is to have that, that one level living where, you know, the outdoor, outdoor space is on the same level as the main floor. So, you know, when you're in the kitchen, you're going to go to your outdoor space. You're not, you know, walking down two flights of stairs or you're not going upstairs. So for, for me, that's, that's the way I've, I've liked to design my my spaces mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then as far as any sort of greenery or um accessories in that nature as far as like live ones you know are there specific ways that you think it works best with the furniture i mean i, I think it depends on on, on where, where you live i think uh using um you know for your own your own gardens you know, natural things you know in your own environment or from you know um, from your environment are, are the best, you know, sort of orga organic plants uh, mm -hmm. that, you know, that in your space. I'm, I'm not one to have, you know, to have a palm tree, you know, in my, my yard because I just, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit, yeah. Yeah, I, I love palm trees, you know, in Hawaii, California, but, uh, you know, in, in our spaces. So I, I really think it's, it's better to, to do it organically, um, you know, in, in the space. And then, you know, really lighting again, landscape lighting can, can, is a game changer for, uh, you know, for your outdoor space. Mm -hmm. but, you know, especially, you know, especially again in the Northwest, you know, in the, in the winter, you know, when it gets dark at five o'clock, um, you know, you lose your outdoor completely. But, uh, you know, even, even if you just have it lit and you're looking at it, it gives you that idea where, you know, you've got more. Mm -hmm. Now, if somebody wanted to come to Living Space to really deck out their outdoor space, is that a service that you all provide? Yes. So we, you know, we'll, you know, um, you know, everybody at Living Space is either, you know, a certified interior designer or an industrial designer. So yes, we'll help people, um, you know, draw, you know, draw their spaces, um, you know, create, you know, create drawings to make sure we're doing, you know, the doing the right thing but we also work with you know um an amazing group of um architects and designer in the city because a lot of our clients are you know coming in with their interior designer architects mm -hmm. so you know, and we're lucky in vancouver to have a group that's uh, you know very very well educated and educated about the brand that we you know, you know that we care that's why i'm you know i'm sad about making them a land fair here because you know a lot of that um you know we get to see you know see our architects and our designers at the fair mm -hmm. and it's just a big a big group um meeting where everybody gets to see the new presentation yeah the new products yeah yeah and that helps inform their designs and their you know projects later so they, I that. and they get to know our brands yeah. so you know we're you know we're visiting our offices you know as, as much as possible and inviting them to the store to see you know see the new collection mm -hmm. and the new collections like i said are pre being presented digitally but in the fall we'll you know we'll sort of have the new people in the store like ba baxter for instance the italian brand 
is actually being quite critical of the way they're going to present the election. And mm -hmm. on September 25th, um, they're, they're waiting till September 25th to, to present. But they want everybody internationally to have the product uh, uh, in store. Sure. And then on the 25th, everybody gets to see it. So there's no news about the new, the new product until, until uh, September 25th. Understandable. So it looks like we have a user question. Um, thoughts on fire pits versus gas fire tables? So you're talking about between wood and gas? It sound, yeah, it sounds like that's yeah. their question. Yeah. I mean, ha having a wood, a wood fireplace is, is beautiful, but it is, it is some work. You know, we, we had an extremis um, fire pit um, at, in our last house. Um, which is was a cortex. It's a, a basically a cortex steel, rusted steel bowl. Um, but you know, it, it really depends. You know, now in your area, if you're allowed to have a fire pit, like a, actually open a real open fire or not. Right. Right. Yeah. I, you know, I, I love I love an open fire. Um, we have another question here. Uh, it says, how challenging is it to promote or sell Italian design in Vancouver where local design is so valued? You know, I, I don't, I don't think it's, it's not difficult at all. Like, like I said, I mean, now we're, we're living globally and the things, you know, things that are produced locally and we have, you know, uh, many, many great local designers, mm -hmm. but there is a difference between, you know, the way you can build something or make something locally compared to, you know, the high tech factories in Italy where, um, you know, they're, they're hundred square foot factories with, you know, the paint shops, the paint shop, um, you know, everything put together. So there's just, there is just a difference in the way things, you know, you know, things can actually be manufactured. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, any other questions from the audience? If you have them, feel free to send them in for for Ross. Um, Ross, was there anything else that you wanted to touch upon regarding, you know, some of your other, you know, feelings or thoughts on on outdoor spaces? No, I think uh, you know, as far as you know, outdoor space, like I said, it's 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 that seamless that seamless blur. But uh, you know, I I'm happy, you know, right now. Well, I'm happy to be talking to you. I'm happy to be open. Um, yeah. you know, during, you know, during this period now, um, it was, it, it was sort of a, a scary thing with, with COVID to, uh, to, you know, to stay in, you know, to stay in business. And, uh, we were, we were lucky enough to be able to send everybody home, um, but work from home. So we really kept going this, uh, as far, as far as the business and, uh, you know, we retained all our, all our employees, um, throughout that, you know, kind of three months. And now we're back at work. Um, you know, we still have our door, um, you know, we're open by appointment only. Uh, so we're still, we're still cautious, but making, you know, making sure that we're, you know, we are open and our clients know that we're open for business. Right. Well, and somebody else did have a question. Um, do you sell outdoor kitchens? And I also tried to remove the question off the screen. So I hope that, I hope that works. <laughs> okay. Um, so do you sell outdoor kitchens at, at Living Space? Yes. So um, Arkland makes an, a, a beautiful outdoor kitchen um, and it's all stainless. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, yeah, that's something that, uh, you know, is, you know, like I said, with that covered area, a fire pit, heater, barbecue, um, they're creating that whole outdoor, outdoor living, you know, living space, um, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, at, at the home now. But right. yes. Art, Art Lenny does a beautiful outdoor kitchen, which is what I'm putting in my, my own home. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. And then another really good question, how good is solar lighting right now? Is solar lighting? Mm-hmm. So there, there is some solar lighting, but uh, most, most of it is, it's rechargeable. So they're, you know, plug-ins, so you, you know, they're, they're like that, that are coming up. There, there isn't a lot of, you know, our manufacturers are doing solar. Lighting. It's it's mostly be mostly rechargeable lighting. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, we tried to put solar lighting here in our house. And if you live in the Pacific Northwest, it's kind of a challenging feat because, you know, the solar aspect is limited. <laughs> it didn't work very well. <laughs> well, I, I think with solar and people are doing it in their houses now, it, it's, you know, I, I mean, it's, it, it's there and it's available. It's, I think it's, you know, fairly expensive if you set it up the way it needs to be set up to actually, you know, to, to make it work properly. Right, right. Well, wonderful. If there are no other questions from our fantastic audience, um, Ross, we so appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So an archive of this talk with, with Ross from Living Space will be um, on Gray Magazine or graymag.com. And then you can also check out uh, our IGTV after the 24 hour period to live on our stories for like 24 hours. And then it'll transition over to IGTV. Great. Uh, so thank you again. Okay.